I'm resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft and we'll be selecting 20 players to build a team. For today's challenge, the players that I pick cannot be wearing their current real life team's jersey in their picture. After all the selections are made, we will assemble the lines in NHL 25 franchise mode and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. Which team are we going to be representing for this draft? It is the Los Angeles Kings. Whoa, pump the brakes there, Jabroni. There's no touch in these lines. I have no idea if this draft is going to work. I mean, if you're seeing it, I guess it did, but... Is there enough players? Who knows? I just thought of it on the spot and was like, all right, record, here we go. Which draft position are we going to get? I don't think it would be good to get a super high one, so something near the middle would be nice, or maybe even like middle end? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Oh, hello. Oh, perfect. We should be able to get both of these guys, Gensel and Stamkos. The only thing is, I did want to try to get Allmark, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Allmark is wearing his Bruins jersey, which he is now a part of the Senators. No matter what, though, my first selection is going to be Jake Gensel, who is now on Tampa Bay, but that is clearly a Pittsburgh picture. Markstrom is also an option, so maybe I go with Stamkos and then try to get Markstrom. I think that's the play. Stamkos wearing his Tampa Bay jersey. Welcome to the team. Oh, Allmark is still here 89 overall that is incredible this team might be all right after all ah they did update the carlson one i'm not sure if i mentioned this in the intro or not but i'm absolutely counting the utah arizona so if they have the picture with their arizona jersey obviously they play for utah now i know that that might be a little iffy but by letter of the law it's not the jersey of their current team. I was getting pretty worried considering we only have three players and it was getting kind of tough to find someone, but Jonathan Marcheseau popped up and saved the day. Amazing, Brady Shea's picture is not updated either. This is pretty much just the new Nashville team. Vladdy Tarasenko is currently with the Detroit Red Wings and that is absolutely a Senator's jersey. So he is also available and he is also joining our team. We found another one, Ryan McDonough, 85 overall and he has a Nashville jersey on, but he is on Tampa Bay these days. And would you look at that we found another one jeff skinner three million dollars is still wearing his buffalo sabers jersey but no he's on the oilers the man won a stanley cup for the flow rider panthers but he is now a part of the toronto maple leafs organization so oel is a part of our team right now our team is lacking forward so i should probably try to get some of those but another good defenseman here shane gostis bear wearing his detroit jersey but he is now a hurricane here's a forward kevin hayes wearing his st louis blues jersey even though he plays for pity Welcome aboard. We do have to start watching salary cap a little bit here, but Burt is no longer on the Maple Leafs. He's with Bedsy on Chicago, and now he is on the LA Kings in this draft. Just under 2 million for an 83 overall goaltender. He is on New Jersey now, but he is wearing Montreal, so he's going to be our backup. I can take him, but the 8.5 makes it pretty much impossible, so PLD is not happening. Here's an example, Alexander Kerfoot wearing his Arizona jersey, but he is now a part of the Utah Hockey Club. 3.5 is decent let's go kevin shattenkirk is a free agent so i don't really know what to do about that this works out great for us a right winger we only have two of them at the moment stefan nason and he is currently on new jersey wearing a hurricanes jersey there the contract used to be a problem but not anymore making 900k jvr a part of columbus now is joining our team we still need defensemen and we just found one in eric johnson with the philadelphia flyers right now and wearing a buffalo sabers jersey i think that is this will be our fourth natural center Centerman Radic Faxa making 3.2, wearing a Stars jersey, but he is on the Blues. Only two picks to go. One of them has to be a defenseman. Let's check out our handedness here. So we have left. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, dear. Okay, we definitely need a right-handed defender. I really wanted to take Martinez, but he is left-handed. So I'm gonna have to go with Tyson Berry, who is currently on Calgary. And our final selection, which weirdly enough finishes all of our positions perfectly, is Cam Atkinson. He is on Tampa Bay right now. Welcome to the LA Kings. That probably sounds really confusing, but you know what I mean. Here is our draft summary. The team looks all right. We'll have to see if the chemistry is a problem, especially with all those left-handed defenders, but there's only one way to find out. The moment of truth. Edit lines. Will we have decent chemistry or no? Jabroni is going to go ahead and interrupt me in a second here. Absolutely not. We have a plus four on the first line. I found out right now if I move Kevin Hayes up, we get a plus one there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is the part I'm worried about. Let's check out our defense. Okay, it's not horrible. That was a pretty easy fix. We now have zero plus one plus one. Can't complain. In net, Linus Allmark will be tending the goal with Jake Allen backing him up. I think this team is going to get 44 wins. And I will say that Jake Gensel gets the most points with 90. 
Let's simulate. Not a good start for the boys. One, three, and one. Just give them some time to get used to each other. I'm starting to get the impression that this is going to be a very difficult task to win a Stanley Cup, much like NHL 24. We went on a bit of a rip there for a minute, and then we came crashing back down to Earth super fast. Gravity was working overtime on that one. We are fourth in the division at the moment. Our record is starting to look pretty respectable. It was until we just lost five games in a row. I love that for us. As soon as that 19 hits 20, it's gonna look so much worse. I'm just waiting for it to happen, but right now we are on a rip again. 31, 19, and 10. 32, 19, and 10. Who says no? As a matter of fact, I do not want to enter the trade deadline. We're gonna keep going. Ivan Fedotov placed on waivers. That's crazy. Oh yeah, here we go. Post-trade deadline collapse. Welcome back. I missed you. We're gonna miss the playoffs, aren't we? It's just gonna work out that way. We had a great season up to the trade deadline. And then this happens. You guys could win one game, you know? Like, that's an option. Thank you. And now we need to win out to even get 40 wins. Playoffs? Not happening. What an absolute joke. The simulation engine in these games drives me crazy. The Stanley Cup Final will be played between the St. Louis Blues and the Washington Capitals. But before we get to those teams, let's have a look at the President's Trophy winning Utah Hockey Club. Matthew Nyes on the second line with Coleman and Lowry. Their first line, they got Sidney the Kidney with Paterka and Schwartz. A lot of 84s going on here. They also managed to grab Macklin Celebrini and have him on the fourth line. That's pretty disrespectful. Their defense looks all right, I guess. Definitely better on the left side. Oh, they do have Bucky and Nett, so that kind of makes up for it. The St. Louis Blues have Kyle Connor, Schmaltz, and Batherson on their first line. Tim Winston with Nelson and Middlestat. It's a good second line. Even their third line's pretty solid. Nick Paul be in there. Their defense is more balanced and deep, I would say. Holy crap, and they have Vasilevsky. All right, so this team checks out. Washington went for a young team and it worked out for them. Bedsy on the first line, 94 overall. Lafreniere and Hagel. Hoaglander, just 24 on the second line. Wenberg and Hartman. They also got Shane Wright. And their fourth line is also extremely young. The left side for defense, not really it, but they do have Sergachev. And then on the right, pretty solid Montour, Lilligren, and Bogfist. Joey Decord tending the goal with Carell backing him up. One game at a time, let's get this done and let's see who takes home the Stanley Cup. Will it be the Washington Capitals or will it be the St. Louis Blues? Right now, it is a 1-1 series. Who's gonna jump ahead? It is the St. Louis Blues. All right, 2-1. Is Washington gonna tie it up or go down? 3-1, that is not good. The Blues could close it out here, or will Washington live to see another day? No, they don't. Tucson Roadrunners are gonna be your Calder Cup champions. The LA Kings had 90 points. They were sixth in the Pacific Division. 12 overtime losses definitely helped. As I mentioned before, Utah won the President's Trophy. They had 51 wins, 106 points. And because of the way things work, I mean, we wouldn't have made it in anyway because we were 17th, but a team below us did get into the Stanley Cup playoffs. Stammer put up some offense. 96 points and a plus 25. Jake and Bake, 79. I would expect a little bit more. March so, 75. Tara Sancho, 60. It's okay. There wasn't really a whole lot of offense coming from our defense, but I sort of expected that when I drafted them. Allmark did phenomenal. 917 and a 267. 33 wins. Jake Allen kind of struggled. Hellebuck had the most wins. He played for Utah. That makes sense. 917 save percentage, 287 GAA. Hughes got the most points for a defenseman at exactly point a game. Yossi and Fox had 80. 112 is the most for forwards and 58 goals. Looks like he's going to win the Art, the Heart, and the Rocket. Matthews and Hagel both had 107, so clearly Brandon Hagel and Connor Bedard get together well. Patty Maroon, 112 penalty minutes, tied with Tanner Janot. Timo Meyer has 86, that seems pretty crazy to me. He did, in fact, get the Art Hart combo. Roman Yossi takes home the Norris. Panarin obtains the Lady Bing. Celebrini gets the Calder. Again, that's pretty crazy considering he was on the fourth line. The Conn Smythe goes to Nick Schmaltz, and I haven't looked at the playoff points, actually. I forgot about that, so we will go do that after this. Shuster gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Jacob acquires the Masterton. Shing awarded the Jack Adams. Sasha Barkov with the Selkie. Bedsy gets the Lindsay and the Rocket. Richard, what a janitor cleaning up the trophies. Vasilevsky had a run to remember. 920 save percentage, 16 wins. What an absolute icon. Not really much to report on for defense. Sergachev, 14 points in 24 games. Montour, 13 in the same amount of games. And there's your Conn Smythe winner, Nick Schmaltz, 29 points in 23 games played. Kyle Conn 
Connor was right on his tail. All right, there's the playoff tree. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. If you have other draft ideas, let me know. If you decided to try this draft, let me know what your team looked like and how they did. It's been a rough start so far, but we have a good one coming. I can tell.